Welcome back. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Sean. Let's get into Don't it. Don't do this to me again. Let's get into it. All right. Ezra Brooks is the review today. The 99, the new one that came out in January 2021. Too weak. I got it. No, no. Oh. What? There's the intro. <laughs> I was gonna say, before I pop this, yeah. why don't you like, comment, subscribe? Yeah. Helps us out a ton. Yeah, before we do that. But. Pre-pop. No. No, pause, rewind, like, comment, and then rewatch. You can still do it. It actually still works. It's like Inception. I mean, that's barely a long pour. Okay, that one was shit. I mean, Ta-da. I mean, you know, it's still I've done less worse than you. today, so. Yeah, yeah, it's still less than you, and I straight kind of. Yours was way, you, you did a really one. good job on this one. Yeah. Today, we talk about the newest addition to the line. Why am I showing the glass? I don't know what to you're the doing. Line, the sea glass. The Ezra. Perfect. <laughs> the Ezra Brooks. So Ezra Brooks obviously has a few Ooh. different whiskeys in the line. They have the seven, which is a barrel proof, right? Yep. They well, have the cheapo. Something like that. They have the cheaper, which is um, 90, 90 proof? proof, which is so cheap. Yeah. It's like so a $20 bottle. Oh my. 117 proof. Speaking of hand polish, and that's got some dust on it. dusty gal. Um, we liked that one a lot when it came out. Yeah. That was like liquid peanut butter. Yes. That's what I remember about it. Yeah. It was really good. So this is their, their new slot in between the 90 and the 117. Yeah. And yeah. come to find out, we just looked it up because, so Ezra did send us this bottle full disclosure. Yeah. Now, they didn't pay for the video, none of that. In they a really, really bottle. cool package. They didn't Amazing. even ask for a video. They just said, do you guys want to try the new Ezra? Yeah. So I said, definitely. We so, said, of course. Dan's an alcoholic. I mean, listen, I'll try anything at least three times. No, at not least. going there. So, this bottle um, being, I think, as one of the cheap, oh, here we go. Again, you did it, Dan. No, it's silent. Switch glasses. Silent. I already <laughs> licked this one. I don't care. I can't deal with that old fucking video. The... What's the cheap, the cheap one's like 17 a bottle? Free. It does come in shooter bottles too. The, the 90 was like, that's my mixer bottle for people at home. The 90 for 15 or 17 or whatever is good. It's, cheap. it's really good. Yeah. In that price I like range. it more than regular Jack Daniels. And it's basically a Jack Daniels knockoff. Yeah. So Ezra's owned by Luxco, which is now owned by MVP. Yeah. Right? So I'd assume this won't change. I'd assume they bought the stock. Man. And they're keeping the stock. This reminds me of like a Knob Creek. More Jim Beam. -y. It's got a little bit of that waxy cinnamon peanut. Yeah, I go more Jim Beam profile than Knob Creek. I think I get more nuttiness on this than I do most Knob Creek. But I get Creeks. that waxiness that I get off Knob Creek. Hmm. Little candle wax in there. Like you, you, you dipped in a little bit of uh, a cinnamon candle into your whiskey. I say big red over cinnamon candle. Okay. A little gummy. Mm -hmm. So this bottle is supposed to be like nationwide on your side available, right? $25 roughly, which is crazy that this it's is a $25 so bottle. We thought it was 40 initially. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. It's a lot of cinnamon. This reminds me if you blended a Booker's and a wild turkey together. Okay. Like a low 101. You get that turkey, turkey cinnamon. Turkey 101 and then like a, well, I mean, I'm not talking like the proof wise, I'm just talking the profile. Yeah. Cause you do get that nuttiness. You do get a lot of cinnamon, which I, I would equate to like a wild turkey 101's a ton of cinnamon. I don't hate it at all. This is a really, really good $25 bottle. If you like big, big Red Gum, I swear to God you like that whiskey. That's a factual statement. It drinks really easy, actually. It, um... Oh, man. And it actually lingers. It's got a little bit of the, the pond water in there for me. It might be your glass going on get the pond water. Okay, probably is my glass. And washed them. So. Also true. Even on the, the linger is a lot of like a big red cinnamon, like a sweet cinnamon flavor. Like a little cinnamon oak. It being $25 makes it so hard. That, it if, was if like- If this was 40, it'd be easier. Yeah. I'd say it's pretty, it's okay. Yeah. At 25, in 25 in, in uh, huge availability throughout like the rest of the year, supposedly, this is, a, you're talking one of the better values on the market. If you're like a, a big Heaven Hill or Jim Beam, Jim Beam fan, yeah. Like this is gonna be right up If you like Booker's and Knob Creek and Jim Beam and yeah. all, all of those, like if you like the uh, Ezra Barrel Proof or the, the yeah. lower proof Ezra, that, this that, is gonna be your jam. 
It's not bad at all. It's 100% on profile for Ezra stuff. Uh -huh. 100%. I think it's opened Cinnamon. up a lot. We tried a little bit when we first got it here, mm -hmm. got it out of the shoulder, let it sit for a week, and now we're drinking it. And I think it's gotten... I gotta be better. honest. It's about... This might be... And I could be wrong. This might be one of the longer uh, finished... Like longer finishing $25 yeah. bottles. Mm -hmm. Buffalo Trace falls off right away. We love the flavor profile, but it falls mm -hmm. off right away. Some of the old Forster stuff's really good. Like the Hunter Proof's great. This, yeah, it actually kind of holds on your tongue a little yeah. bit. There's a like little here. oiliness to it. No. Okay, I want to try this and see which one I like more, just for the sake of trying it. So, like we mentioned earlier, this is the old Ezra Seven. Here. This is the barrel. I didn't. You didn't pour much in mine. You gave yourself 14 here, you ounces. No. I do think if you if you come into this like man I really like the black label the fifteen dollar one yeah. and I want more proof then that's at ninety nine's your your gal. If you don't I'm gonna be honest if you don't like the lower proof one you're not gonna like that one. I can tell you that right now because the profiles are the same. The barrel proof is better than I remember. So the barrel proof I don't remember anywhere near as much cinnamon on the barrel There's proof. There's not. Okay. It's more peanut butter. Yeah. Like it almost has that like salty characteristic of it. Um, I, man, mm. that lingers forever too. I'm still picking the barrel proof. Yeah, me too. It's almost a little banana on the barrel proof. Oh my gosh. That's, that makes this seem so much better. Whew. Barrel proof's a nice little hitter there. Uh -huh. Okay. A little warm, tingles on the, the lips Definitely a little bit. Definitely yeah. Nice long finish. Um, mm. it really does feel like the bigger brother to this yeah. though. Like it feels so it perfectly placed. Here, there's so much cinnamon in here going back and forth, like thinking about it. Jeez, uh -huh. okay. What's your grade on the the new 99? I think it's just uh, like an A minus, honestly. Oh, an A minus. I don't. Because of the price. I, it's it's so $25. Cheap. I like it. I don't. There's nothing around at $25, I think, that does what this does for Old me. Forster 100 crushes it. <sighs> Same price, too. It's Early close. times, Bottle Bond crushes it. What's yeah, but early times probably going away though. True, maybe. But we, but those are two. Those are both. I'm, I'm, okay, oh, I, right. I think they both deserve the the A minus A range. Okay. Because this is different strokes for different folks. Like that, if yes. you are like we said, Heaven Hill, Jim mm -hmm. Beam, stuff like that. This is gonna be as good as Old Forester is for us. I'd even that, say that'll be for you. Say if you like one one a lot, yeah. you like this. Uh, I'm gonna go B plus. Because the prices, I think the prices, I Perfect. mean, remember how excited we were about the price of Old Forest or Rye? Yeah. We found it was like 25 or 28 bucks. Mm -hmm. It was like, whoa, what the hell? When we just found out about 20 minutes ago that this is $25, I mean, we both were it. like, we thought it was 40. Yeah. And it was like, damn, 40 feels like it's a lot. 25 feels like it's too low. <laughs> well, I mean, that's 40, so we should have figured it out. This is super hard to find, though, I think. So this has been in raffles. That's true. I don't know. I, I, I think be this will have a good little foothold in the market yeah for what it's offering yeah. price and flavor profile yeah. wise. like we said if that if ezra was already your jam then you'll definitely probably buy more i would rather these. buy this than the 90 for sure oh i'm 100 percent in on that yeah. yeah but the 90 comes in shooter bottles and if you need a shooter bottle for a plane or okay. somewhere like that the dude i think that ezra 90 proof is one of the best like travel available whiskeys yeah. possible good on you lux good, good job you. okay uh, we're the Bourbon Junkies. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You're gonna act like we've never outroed a billion videos by Bro, now. I almost said, "What did you grade it again?" That's where my brain went. That's why my brain went. <coughs> oh, get back in here. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Comes out. It's done. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. Hey, like the video. YouTube. For real. If you're here, like actually it. like the video. Like, don't oh, not man. like it. We're gonna start setting like numbers on our videos. Like, we need to hit 3,000. Proof done is with in YouTube. the poor. <laughs>